can you relate? You're all in on a diet. You're never going to eat this again. You're never going to eat that again. Sugar is out the window. No more carbs. You feel good. You're seeing results. You're doing great. And then all of a sudden, bam, you hit burnout and you say, screw it. And five seconds later, you somehow downed a dozen donuts and you don't know how you got there. That was my history with dieting. I would start over and over and over again. I'd be sick of being overweight. I'd lose the weight. I'd do awesome at a diet. But then suddenly I felt overwhelmed with missing out my favorite foods, not enjoying the process anymore. And even though I was seeing results, I didn't enjoy the lifestyle that I had created. I'd start to eat my favorite foods again. And what do you know? My weight would start to creep back up. And I'm here to tell you, you can end that cycle. I am an OMAD intermittent faster. I've been doing this for over three years and I have an average of about a 22 hour fast with a two hour eating window. It does vary day to day, but I find this to be sustainable, enjoyable, and I get to enjoy my favorite foods on a daily basis. I recently heard a new mantra that has stuck with me. And before I share that with you and how I think it can transform your fasting journey, I need to share with you about our sponsor Element. Element is a science-backed electrolyte formula that I use on a near daily basis. Not only are they delicious, they're single serve packets, super convenient, but they're filled with science-backed things that you need and no fillers, junk that you don't. It has 1,000 milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams potassium, and 60 milligrams magnesium. That's gonna help you to stay hydrated, fueled, and feeling good whether you're fasting or feasting. Right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serve packets free with any Element order. It's the perfect way to try all eight flavors or to share Element with a salty friend. To get yours, go to drinkelement.com slash fastingfoodie. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash fastingfoodie. Thanks so much to Element for sponsoring this video. This mantra I heard on TikTok, and as soon as I heard it, I thought this woman is putting words to the way that I feel. It's eat what you want, add what you need. And I think that is absolutely perfect. I get to eat the foods that I want every single day. And on top of that, I will add the things that I need. to. Keep. I get to eat the foods that I love on a daily basis with OMAD, but then I also am adding the things that are going to help me to feel good, to stay healthy, and the balance of the two is what makes this joyful and sustainable. Here is her video where I first saw this. Now I have heard other creators use this phrase. I don't know if Liza came up with it or if she's just the first person that I heard it from, but I obviously took it to heart and think it's the perfect way to describe my approach to my OMAD eating window. I eat what I want, but I add what I need. Other creators have different phrases to say the same thing. Another creator that I like here on YouTube, her name's Kylie, and she says this, always remember what you can add to, not subtract from your meals. Again, it's focusing on adding, adding the good things, not taking away the things that you love. That's gonna lead to deprivation and honestly, burnout if you're like me. Another creator, her name's Samira, she says this, she focuses on adding instead of cutting out, and that's one way that she has gained control over her diet and eating. Another creator that I really enjoy watching her YouTube shorts, her name is Alana. I hope I said that right, but she really focuses on it's not all or nothing. So you don't have to either have a perfect diet or a really crappy diet. You can eat foods that you really like, but then add to it. It doesn't have to be all good or all unhealthy. And I think all of the phrases that these creators use is a really wonderful way to shape your mindset. You can enjoy OMAD, eat one meal a day that you really enjoy, but you also find it to be satisfactory mentally, physically, and add to your health. Here are some practical examples in my life. The very first one that I started to do this very intentionally was pizza. We get pizza almost every single week. Where we get it from, the quality of the pizza, if we make it at home, it varies week to week, but one thing was certain. When we had pizza, I almost exclusively only ate pizza for dinner. However, I am now intentional that I make a delicious and filling salad before I eat my pizza. I love salads. I add things like pepitas, beets, different vegetables, kind of use up what we have on hand, but making a filling, very delicious salad before I eat the pizza is adding more nutrients and adding to the meal of pizza, what I really want, but I'm also getting the healthy things that I need. So having a salad before I have pizza is something that I aim to do. I'm not perfect at it every time, but guess what? That is a new intention that I have. When I eat pizza, I eat a salad beforehand. And honestly, my meal has not been any less enjoyable. It's more satisfactory. I still get the joy of the pizza, but I also feel like I'm doing more good for my body than just eating pizza itself. 
Another example of this is margaritas. I love to have a margarita on occasion, and when I make them at home, I like to make them with Element. I use my Element packet to not only rim the glass, but then I put the rest of it into the margarita itself. This is gonna help me to not get dehydrated. It's, it's gonna add the sodium, the magnesium, the potassium into the margarita, and while a margarita isn't necessarily a health choice, if I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna add in the element that's gonna help me to stay hydrated while I'm drinking it. Again, it's not all or nothing. It's not be perfect or go all out and don't care about what you're putting in your body. It can be a balance of the two. Another example of this that I've really been employing frequently is when we go out to eat. There are some times that getting lots of vegetables is not an option when we're going out to a dive bar. So I am now more intentional that if I know I'm going to eat dinner at a dive bar and have drinks and maybe burger and fries, I will have a plate of veggies at home before we go or I'll have a cottage cheese bowl before I go out to the restaurant. I'm just taking the time to think what is my meal going to look like at the restaurant and then I will supplement it with something better at home that's going to give me a better window opener and it's going to help me to maybe not indulge quite as much at the restaurant. I still don't put rules on. I still enjoy whatever I want at the restaurant, but I have set myself up for more success by adding what I need to the meal at the restaurant, which is what I want. One thing I really want you to notice is in all of these examples, I never once said I was restricting something. Restriction is something that me personally really doesn't do well with. So when I restrict something from my diet, I tend to obsess about it. So having the ability to eat what I want and then I add what I need means that I don't feel that restriction any longer. I no longer feel like I can't have donuts, which is something that I love. I no longer feel like I can't have a cookie if a cookie sounds good. I eat what I want, but I add what I need and it helps me to feel well-rounded. And if you wanna see these creators' videos, I made a playlist of some of my favorites right here. You can check them out. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.